guys what is going on it is obadiah and today we are back on the volcano playing some arc so yesterday we tamed up a bunch of stuff we got a bunch of new dinos and whatnot oh our wall's sticking through um but i realized I, you know i tried to go straight into like the building an awesome building and more advanced things but we really forgot to do some of the basics and today i want to make us a greenhouse because that's something we definitely need um, we also need to run irrigation to our cooker because we have not done so yet. And see, does anything else need irrigation? No, not here. Beer barrels need irrigation. But I can stick those on later, and I'll do that up top. Uh, so I want us to go ahead and irrigate this, and I'm thinking we're going to put the greenhouse up top. Let me show you where I'm thinking. Because if we climb up here, I was going to put it on the ground originally, but I want to keep things kind of condensed. And I still need to build a building to store a bunch of dinos, kind of like a kibble farm. I'm not going to make as massive of a kibble farm as I was trying to do last time. I'm going to make just what I need. At least that's what I say now. Who knows what it's going to turn into? I'm thinking I'll put the greenhouse up here. It's kind of on top in the middle here. Um, I don't plan on storing a whole lot up here except for some, maybe some flyers. But I can also store flyers over there. I can also put the greenhouse over there. Nope, I think I'm going to do it over here. Just kind of right in the middle, a little greenhouse, nothing too massive. Um, oh, I'm already starting to doubt the decision, so maybe not. Maybe we'll like tuck it in the corner. I don't know yet, but the first thing we got to do, if we're going to make a greenhouse, is we need to build stuff. So, uh, get in. Uh, the Structures Plus mod has some glass stuff. Let's see, where is it? Uh, not under greenhouse. Under glass and the glass stuff i believe works let's see snaps for generators i'm cop no i believe this stuff yes gives greenhouse effect um i don't i think it's all the regular stuff so and it's much stronger than your regular greenhouse stuff so we're gonna actually build out of that so i'm gonna go ahead i've got some metal smelting uh let's check it out yeah just some a few thousand four or five thousand and i have a little bit already made so I'm, I think I have, do I have plenty of cementing paste and crystal? Crystal, yeah, I got 3,400 and cementing paste, 2,500. Okay, so that should be enough to get us a greenhouse at least. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and build that and uh, then I'll bring you guys back after I get a bunch of the stuff crafted up so we can construct it together. All right, guys, we have made an absolute ton of stuff. And first thing we're gonna do is lay down the greenhouse foundations. I did decide to continue to put it on the top. So, uh, I actually think I made a little too much stuff, but I think I grabbed just what I needed. So, I believe our roof is 12, yeah, 12 uh, wide. I wanna start two back. I wanna start, oh, that's two, right? One and two. And so if it's 12 high, I believe I wanna start right there. One, two, three, and four. And that should be right in the middle. Yes. And then we can do one, two, and three. Same thing on this side. One, two, three. And then shut it off. Perfect. Now we got ourselves a little bit of a, a little bit of a dealy out here. Open, open, please. And another one right there. And let's go ahead and make this auto close only because holy crap, the automatic doors can be a huge pain in the butt. <clears throat> now I just want to make a little, a little bit of a slope at the top. Like this. Beautiful. And now we should be able to put the roof on. And we'll have ourselves just a little greenhouse. Nothing too fancy. All right, so I'm gonna keep putting this together and lay down the crop plots. All right, guys, now that it's set up up there, the next thing we need to do is run some irrigation. But I wanna irrigate this uh, industrial cooker first. So, stick that there and go that way. I need to run a pipe to the ocean. Uh, it's one of the reasons I wanted to build close, oh, come on, get out of the way here, close to the water this time so I can just irrigate straight in there. Uh, da, 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 da. How do I want to do this? Do I want to just come straight this way? No, obviously I want to go out. Or do I want to stay in? Let's go ahead and stay in. Um, a straight pipe. Nope, nope. Straight 
No, no, no. What? Why is it not going the way I want it to go? I want it to go... You know what I should do? Get rid of this intersection. Do one of... Why is the only one attached there? Attach to the pipe. Running irrigation. I've never been so good at it. Whoa, whoa, all the lags. Okay, so I want it to go that, the other direction. I want it to go over here. But it only wants to go that way, which means that if I want it to go... See, it won't go the way I want it to go. So I guess I have to run th like this, and then from in here, I can run some straight piping. Okay, perfect. So now let's go ahead and step outside and see where's that coming out. Right there, which is kind of, as long as I can walk under it. Yeah, it's just a fine spot. Uh, now will it go straight through? Yeah, see that's the thing, I don't want it to go straight through my forge. If I do that and then that, it'll be sticking out the other side of the wall, which I also don't want. So I guess straight through the forge is where we're going. Now will heat up that water a bit, but I'm sure that's fine. Okay, let's go around the other side. This is not the prettiest piping in the world, I've gotta say. I've done better, but I've also done much, much worse. So, where are we here? There we go. Uh, is that gonna, which side of the ladder is that gonna be on? Perfect. And then we should be able to go straight down. Is that the end? Nope, that's the end. Straight down, please. See why there it's okay it was going down, but over on the end it only wants to go up. Ah, uh, what the heck? Alright, right there it is. Straight down into the water. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Oh, also we've been walling this in. Which I think is kinda cool. Alright, where are we coming out? Whoa, you see all these framiness? Why am I getting all this crazy framiness right now? Oh, it's almost unplayable right now because of the framing is. Why did that just start? What's, what, what kind of frames are we getting right now? Nine, eight. Wow, all right, I might have to turn some stuff down. All right, it seems to be fine now. Oh, look, at, there it is again. It's only when I'm placing a pipe. Do you see that right now? It's nice and smooth and fine. I start the pipe and all the framiness in the world is happening. Ugh. Can we just place it then and... Can I just... Why would placing a pipe start that? I don't know. Anyways, we should have to stomach through it and make it work. So, let's see if we can go here. Ugh. It won't snap to where I want it to snap! <laughs> okay, can we go, can we use an, do an intake pipe? Yeah, see how it just won't... Oh, you know what? I think I see the problem. Not not with the framiness part. Am I going into a foundation? Yes, that's why I'm going into a foundation. That's why I can't see it. Okay, so I'm going to have to remove some of the piping. Uh, I might have to borrow a quetz, because I haven't actually gotten a quetz of my own yet. Can we go out one more? And then come down? Yeah, okay, now we should be able to see it popping out right here, right? And another one coming down should snap right on there. Oh, there it was for a second. Beautiful, finally, okay. And now we can throw the intake pipe right on the end. Ta-da! Okay, so I'm gonna have to clean that up in a bit, but for now, that should be fine. And our dealio should be irrigated. Irrigated, perfect. So now from here we can run straight up to the roof and connect to our garden. All right, so the irrigation is ran. The taps are set. All of our crop plots are incubated. Um, we still gotta do seeds and whatnot, but I also wanna put up a couple beer barrels. And let's put one there. One, because that's what you use to tame Calicotheriums, and Calicotheriums are pretty cool. And are these now irrigated? Irrigated, and ir zero out of a thousand irrigated. Interesting. 
Those are still running, so it should be okay. Should pop, should should fix itself, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. Um, and because and we also want to place so this guy who takes beer to run. He collects crops from nearby crop plots, but you have to give him beer to function, just like any good worker. And uh, you can put preserving salts in his inventory to make the crops last longer. And this guy comes with the castles, keeps, and forts mod. And we kind of put him. He's kind of he's a gardener. I'll, I'll put him here by the door. Bam! Look at him go. And, oh, he's got a nice big, big inventory of 300. So now all that remains to do is put the seeds and fertilizer in there, which we should have plenty of, of at this point. And then I will get that taken care of. All right, we've gone ahead and grabbed all the seeds we need and all the fertilizer we current. Uh, whoa, up the ladder, up the ladder. Oh, I hate ladders and arc. I just need to make a ramp system. I uh, grabbed all the seeds and all the fertilizer we currently have so we can go ahead and get this stuff put all together and climb up the big ladder. All right, perfect. So we're gonna do, I think, one stim berry and, four, and three narco berries and then two of each of the vegetables. Uh, so let's see, it goes four that way. So let's do a stim berry just right up front. We got a stim and then let's do one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, yeah. And then we'll do narcos all along the back, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. And kind of keep this running. Three, four, five, six. I don't think I have enough for six in everything. I think some of them have to have five. Come on. Oh, the lags. Six, there we go. And then we'll do maybe rock carrot here. And. I'll go ahead and get all this set up, and then I'll bring you guys back so you don't have to watch this. <laughs> all right, so everything is seeded and fertilized, and I am climbing up the wrong side of the ladder? Nope, we're good. Okay. And now it's time to go ahead and start the beer process. So I made an absolute crap ton of water jars. I think I made 30 of them or something. Um, so we're going to go ahead and throw thatch and berries in the beer barrels, because that's how you make beer. And let's see. So we got... Uh, da, da, da. Half the berries, half the thatch, and as many jars as will fit. Oh, well, let's put those. Oh, there we go. It's just going just a little bit of lag. All right. So, oh, we could actually make a third beer barrel too. But that seems a little excessive. Look at that, that, and it looks like we only put eight in at a time. So we will have some extras. And so we're gonna go ahead and let all that stuff craft up. All right, guys. So it's been a little bit of time, and. Our beer is being made. We've got all the beer. You know, maybe maybe we take one just for ourselves. Have a have a drink. <laughs> so our beer. Whoa. Oh. Uh, we're drunk. Uh, so we got beer. We got all the crops. Um, and our gardener is gathering all the vegetables. I mean, holy crap! Look at all those narcotics. This is insane. Um, also, if you noticed, there is a new wyvern here. Mustang Sal. There's a new fire wyvern. Someone in the tribe had an extra egg and, ah! Uh, and, uh, ow. <laughs> and uh, they gave it to us. They actually hatched it, and we got a little bit of imprinting done on it. I forgot I had an automatic trap door there. Uh, I believe the imprinting is at 70 something percent, not quite 100% sure. Uh, but I'm gonna let's go ahead and take a look real quick. Let's see. And uh, it was, I think it was a 408 originally. We've done a bunch of taming with it, or a bunch of training with it, a bunch of leveling. And let's not fall through that trap door. And it is 78% uh, imprinted, and it's now currently level 47. So that's awesome. But for today, guys, I do think that is going to be it. If you did enjoy the video, or if you learned something, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe. You can also hit me up on all your social medias, your Twitter, Instagram, your Facebook, or even your Google Plus, and check out my Patreon at patreoncom X. But anyways, guys, I do appreciate you coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.